Hello dear friends, today I would like to show you my last very simple upgrade or uh, it's possible to make different mounting position of the rear wings for uh, racing fighter or DTO2. This is a stock angle uh, normally used uh, with this part. And now it is the same part, cut in different way, just shorten, and it looks, it looks so. You can see this cut, the mounting pivot is cut in different, or socket is mount is uh, cut in different angle. And according this is uh, drilled through uh, for for the screw the hole is drilled by the same angle as you see <laughs> sorry for my English <laughs> and now you have for nothing no cost extra for quite interesting, I think, uh, new position of this uh, rear wing. Uh, I think I would like to make more videos about my uh, suspension system, which I think it works. Uh, I was driving it many times. Um, you see the longer uh, shocks but uh, they are simply made by cutting the the end of uh, the upper cap the eye is gone just through uh, drill it uh, through with a three millimeter hole and put the normal screw different uh, length as you want you can add the spacer, for example, or use just longer uh, this ball end. So you can uh, make your own very functional, uh, very well functional shocks for different lengths. You are not limited by anything now. And it is light, strong, really it holds well. Uh, I dismounted many times and mounted back so no problem absolutely with the strengthness of, of these uh, enlarged shocks so and this uh, this is uh, from a racing fighter standard um, setup it's much better because you can use also the stock system of uh, just just here you 